So guys, in today's video I have news and information about the upcoming updates. What we expect to see in the game soon. Some of them you, you already know and some of them they are going to be on the next update 9.1 and some of the things you don't know yet and they will ex we expect to see them on the upcoming updates maybe 9.2 even 9.3 so i have information about uh upcoming rebalance new weapons and even possibly a new robot let's see what exactly we have so first of all guys we are going to talk about the rebalance the titans rebalance first of all the eater I have a picture of the Eater, the Eater Titan. It's gonna uh, be a part of the rebalance. This is the picture. Reduced vigor, repair power, 44%. We don't know how for, to how much. Reduced bonus to speed from vigor, 60% to 30%. Reduced damage reduction from force field, 90%, 83, 63, instead of 71. You can see the numbers. Reduced EMP accumulation rate from built-in weapon. You can see the numbers increase movement speed 44 kph to 46 kph. Built-in weapon damage increase by we don't know yet the exact number. Increase skyward skyward duration 8 seconds to 10 seconds. The Nodens. The Nodens. This is a picture. I think every time I'm using the, the this picture. Last time I used this picture because it really looks cool with the scene there. This oolong cinder i have more pictures of the nodens but doesn't really matter increase movement speed 40 43 kph to 45 kph i like it durability increase 10 percent huge buff for the nodens equipment rebalance veyron and evora the veyron and the evora as well let's see what exactly they said about them this is the veyron uh weapon i don't have a picture of the evora Damage reduced by 15%. A significant nerf for the Veyron and the Evora. The Glaive and the Lads. Let's see exactly what they said about them. This is the picture. Uh, the next picture. Increased damage multiplier, multiplier of the second shot. 1.1 to 1.5. Reduced damage multiplier of the third shot. 4 to 2.5. So a picture of the, the Glaive. This is the glaive weapon. I don't have a picture of the lance. So this is it. Uh, I think. Oh, we have also the Dazzler. Damage reduced by uh, by 15%. Okay. 15%. The Dazzler weapon. There it is. The Dazzler weapon. It's going to get damage nerf. Cataclysm and Cyclone. Damage increased by 10%. Above to the Cataclysm and the Cyclone. Uh, this is also a, a nice. Grom and Squall increased ammo 8 to 10 and 12 to 14. So this is a buff to the Grom and the Squall. So I have a picture of the Squall and the Grom. So the picture is just for the, you know, for the bonus. I don't have to show the picture, but I like to show the pictures as well if I have them. So this is the Grom and the Squall. And Bulava and Kisten reduced reload time 10 seconds to 8 seconds. So another buff to the Bulava and the Kisten. I think this is the third buff in in the short period of time. This is insane. And yet they are still they are not gonna be effective, I think. Even though they got a buff. So what do you think about the rebalance? This is in terms of the rebalance. Titans rebalance. So next up. The other things that we expect to see. So yeah guys the ultimate edition robots and weapons guys first of all do not have mistakes the ultimate edition it means new weapons slash new robots it's not a special edition it's a new robot slash new weapons very simple an enhanced version much expensive version so this is the stats of the ultimate orcan guys the bottom line it's much better range it's 350 meter range instead of 300 meter the reload time is 6.9 instead of 20 you can see and the ammo is 3 instead of 1 this is insane i have uh, the stats of the ultimate specter as well so you can see the cooldown is 14 seconds instead of 22 <laughs> insane the durability is much higher than the regular one almost 200 kph this is craziness this is the movement speed the bed four bedroom weapons is the same so i have a picture of the ultimate specter uh, if you want to see how it looks like, this is the 
Ultimate Spectre. So, tell me what you think about the Ultimate Edition. I would like to see your comments about that. And the new stuff. Okay. This is, uh, we have the Crisis Robot. From the, it's on the test server. We tested it on the test server. This is with the trebuchet weapons. I tested it with the trebuchet weapons. You should check out this video, guys. Four heavy weapons. Uh, stealth Robot. And this is the new weapon, the Reaper weapon. You already know what is that. It's basically a countering reflector, force field shield, goes through force field, reflector, resistance. And we have the freezing titan weapons along with the rook titan, the oxy and the argon. That's the names, the rook titan with the new weapons. The showdown drone for the stealth robots. I already tested it as well, guys. I made a video, so there is no need to go into details. I just, I don't want to make this video so long. I have another picture of the Rook. This is from the live show of Robots channel. And we have Yamantau. So what I'm saying right now, this is going to be on the next update, 9.1. Yamantau map, this is how it looks like. I have only one picture. And the new module, Unstable Conduit. This is basically an improved version of Repair and Vats Repair. You get uh, additional damage and also repair. And it costs more power sets. Much expensive business, of course. And this is in terms of the new 9.1 uh, update. I said everything. The Titan rebalance. Okay. So let's go to the juicy stuff. The new items. So, first of all, we expect to see the one of the upcoming updates. Titan pilots for the Rook Titan Nessa Riggs. This is going to be a pilot for the Rook Titan Nessa Riggs for the Rook. Oh yeah, you heard it right. Young Lee. Probably for the Arthur. Maybe the Arthur. Guys, this is not confirmed yet about the Young Lee. But this is probably it's gonna be for the Arthur Titan. Young Lee. So they mentioned something about this story that is dream to become a pi uh, pilot for Titan. So we knew that this is gonna come. We knew that this was coming. Of course, all of us commanders. Young Lee. P possibly the R2. Okay, let's keep going. The crisis, I already mentioned that. The return of the Robo Saviour. They mentioned that. S uh, five years already. It's been five years already. Last time they mentioned that five years. I don't have a picture of the Robo Saviour, unfortunately. So, because we don't have uh, the full... They, they still don't have the full design. Faction, Yandi. So, this is the information about the Robo Saviour. It's a new type of robot from Yandi Ventures, possessing a more simplistic, albeit destructive ability to freeze and waken enemies while having a very powerful and durable hull to back up its lack of gimmicks on the battlefield. This paired with high firepower makes it for the for formidable, formidable for under most conditions. The ability, it, this is the ability, Oster freeze when using this ability. Robo Sefer will gain a temporary resistance while launching a freezing bomb at target enemy. This bomb, this bomb will create a critical freeze zone, it's instantly freezing enemies and applying permanent weaken, weakening effect. Each stack of this effect reduces the robot speed healing and increases the damage they receive from all sources. So this is early information about the Robo Sefer, guys. This is uh, this is uh, uh, be, this is gonna be on one of the next updates. I don't know when exactly, which one. It's not gonna be next update, of course, but one of the next uh, the upcoming updates. I don't have a full picture of it yet. This is the stats of it: resistance and freeze zone duration, resistance like the Phantom, 33 percent. If I'm not mistaken, range 350 meter range. You can see. All the details about... I think you can see... Yeah, you can see it. And the recommended equipments. Guys, I didn't mention that. The new weapons. So recommended equipment. One guillotine. Two hatch, hatch, hatch. And one uh, sultan. Sultan. It means you have two medium weapons. One heavy and one light. This is a uh, high firepower. Not for uh, heavy weapons, of course, but... Two medium, one light, one heavy. So this is the new weapons. The light version, the Sultan. The information about the new weapon. Turret launching weapons that fire at the de deployable turret. These weapons will 
cater onto enemies within the radius and deal pre pre percentage based damage. These weapons will return to the user after unloading or when no target is within the radius for 3 seconds. The damage of these weapons can be increased from normal sources that they deal great damage compared to normal weapons. Okay, so the damage coming soon. We don't have, we don't know yet the damage, the ammo, 30 ammo. The, the radius is 125 meter range. Data, right? Data radius. Range 450 meter range. The reload, 10 seconds reload. Like the Avenger. Okay, short you can see. So this is the medium weapon uh, coming soon. We don't know yet the damage. We know the ammo, the radius of the tater. Radius 125 meter range. The range is 350 meter range. The weapon and the heavy weapon. 10 second reload, the same 10 second reload. And the other one is guillotine, the heavy weapon. Same stats, same information, turret launching weapons. Fire deployable turret. This is interesting. So they are bringing more this thing, the turret stuff of the bars and the, the series. You see what they are doing? They are keep doing these things. Turret weapons. Damage, we don't know yet the damage. So when I have the full information about the, the weapons, full picture of the Robo Savior, I will bring it, of course. I will do another video and tell you everything you need to know. So this is in terms of the new weapons, the Sultan, Hatche and Guillotine. I hope I'm pronouncing the names right. If not, doesn't matter. <laughs> and there is another thing, another thing uh, last and not, uh, last but not least. This is a picture, guys. This is a picture of a special edition links. I don't know when exactly it's gonna be, but this is a special edition links. I don't know what's the name, Stellar, uh, Arden. I don't know what, which, what exactly a special, the name, the special name. But this is a special edition links, and I think I said everything you need to know. I mentioned Titan Pilot special edition, new weapons, new items. So this is the document. If I didn't mention something, you can see it, of course. You can read it. So this is the information about the Robo Safe here. I mentioned that. This is the Ultimate Spectre. This thing. This is the Ultimate Spectre here. And this is yeah, this is I think the same thing. Ultimate Spectre. Yeah, this is this is the information about the Rook Titan. This thing. The Rook Titan with the new weapons. You can see I mentioned them already, so there is no need to mention that again. Sultan, uh, Hatchet, Guillotine. Let's see if I, I missed something. I'm trying to see. Okay. Guillotine. I don't have pictures. Reaper. Let me see. So this is about the Reaper. You see, they said here. That it goes through force field and reflector shields. You can see it. The oxy. And let me see. Ult Ultimate edition. Showdown. I mentioned that as well. Yang Li. I mentioned that. The Titan rebalance. Yeah, guys. This is it, guys. This is the end of the video. As soon as I have... I have more information about the upcoming things. I'll let you know. I'll make a video. I'm trying to get a picture of the Robo Savior. So this is still early. Uh, they're still working on it. It's, it doesn't have a full design. That's what I know. And as soon as I have more information, I'll let you know. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should subscribe. Click the bell, smash the like. And until next time, have a good day. Slash night.